All righty, I'm going to talk about Winterfest. I'm going to talk about vaccine mandates at Wonderland. I'm not going to get political. Don't worry. I'm just going to talk about Wonderland and Wonderland's side of things. Um, but let's talk about Winterfest. First, let me just discuss this drone was taken off from a public high school um, in the soccer field. So this is allowed. We don't fly anywhere outside of it. We literally just stay and turn the drone left and turn the drone right. So we are not over roads. We're not over people. We are not over buildings. Um... So let's talk about it. Wonderland today implemented a vaccine mandate mandate for Winterfest. So you will need a vaccine if you're over the age of 12 to get into the park um, with government ID and reservations remain. Um, so the big thing and uh, behind Wonderland doing this is capacity. And I'm going to get into it because this is kind of exciting. So Wonderland has implemented um, the vaccine mandate, which we kind of knew was coming because the government has kind of offered businesses, if they did this, that they could return to full capacity. So for Cedar Fair, this was the smart decision. Again, I'm not trying to get political. Um, I'm not like I, I'm not going to get into my opinions or anything about that, but. Um, uh, from a business standpoint, this is really smart. Wonderland was one of the few parks remaining in the Cedar Fair chain that did not have full capacity. Um, Halloween Haunt had 25,000 capacity limit to it, which was very low compared to previous years, um, considering that they would reach upwards of 50 to 70,000 for Halloween Haunt usually. Um, and with labor costs, it's, that's a huge hit to the bottom line for a park like Canada's Wonderland that's normally one of the top performing parks. So with Winterfest returning and full capacity now because of the vaccine mandate and the park being 90, like 5% open, 99, 95, 99% open, um, in terms of guest area, the capacity is going to be much higher. In fact, they have 28 operating days um, this year for Winterfest, a lot more than before, and to hit about 1 million guest attendants, which would be so amazing and put them so far ahead of other, other parks Winterfest in the chain, they just need about 35,800 guests, which I actually predict will be very easy for them to do considering the fact that Halloween Haunt sold out a lot at 25,000 capacity. So I think Wonderland's going to see anywhere from like 700,000 to 1 million guests. And depending on how well they actually do, they could even see over 1 million guests. So I think this is going to be a huge year for Cedar Fair and Canada's Wonderland's Winterfest at Wonderland. Um, and I expect Cedar Fair to really double down at Wonderland in terms of Winterfest in 2022 and 2023 based off of the success of this one. I think they're going to advertise it um, exponentially online and everywhere, and they're really going to try and draw in everyone. I know people who didn't go to Winterfest in 2019 who are going this year, so it seems like they have done already a good job of promoting the four seasons of fun at Wonderland, and um, I definitely think this is going to be one of their most successful years. So, again, not getting into vaccines, but I totally understand why Wonderland did it. They were kind of, like, given no other option. It was either, you know, 30,000 capped, attendance um while also mandating vaccines to eat indoors which is required um they can't get around that and people have to eat indoors during Winterfest for the most part so it just made sense honestly i i understand the decision it sucks um for those that aren't vaccinated again i'm not going to get into um, it. I am vaccinated, by the way, for anyone wondering by that last statement, thinking maybe I'm not. I am vaccinated and I will be going to Winterfest and I fully support Wonderland's decision. Um, but I also do understand the other side of it as well. But again, I'm not going to get into that. I uh, do want to talk about um, a few things. Again, I really do hope Cedar Fair decides to do the giant Christmas tree on Windseeker. It would be free advertisement for the highway beside and uh, just again be a super huge draw in terms of Instagram photos and all that. So I think it would be really intelligent if Wonderland did that um, with the Christmas tree on Windseeker. I also am really hoping um, sometime soon that we'll see some action in Kingswood and action in Dinosaurs Alive, which I talked about in my previous video. And as you can see, there are some weird colors on the mountain. Um, I think that's just te them testing the lights uh, so if you tell, there's a really bright pink and a turquoise color on the mountain lights. So I think that's just testing. But yeah, it's really cool. I'm really excited for Winterfest. I'm really excited for all the shows with this new information. Um, I'm a little kind of shocked that Tinker's Toy Factory isn't coming back yet. Maybe it will. Um, but, you know, I really would like Tinker's Toy Factory at Canada's Wonderland. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any big thing that I'm missing. 
in terms of Winterfest. We have a surprise for you guys. Um, keep an eye on our channel next Thursday. Um, next Thursday, we'll have a surprise video um, on the channel. So keep an eye there. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I don't, I'm, I'm like pausing to think if I'm missing anything, but I think I'm just delaying the video at this point. So I'm just going to end the video. If I think of something, um, I'll let you know. There's definitely a really cool new light area over by Sledgehammer heading into Frontier Canada, that orbiter path. Um, there's a new kind of like light area that I guess you guys didn't see in the last video. I kind of, um, with my job, I've been so busy. I just had to upload a video with music, but yeah, I'm super excited about Winterfest. You'll definitely see me there every day. I guarantee that every day I'll be at Winterfest, um, except for maybe Black Friday because my job, but yeah, hopefully you guys are having an amazing week. Hopefully you have an amazing weekend. This video is coming out on Friday. So yeah. Um, and see you at Winterfest. Feel free to say, Hey, I'm so excited again. Stay tuned to the channel for next Thursday, a surprise video. Have a good one guys. Bye.